Hello, Fit and Well family. I am so excited to chat with you today. I love our little weekly dates and really how these have evolved over time. So March actually marks 13 years, 13 years of blogging of my fitness business of all of the things and i'm just so excited of how everything has evolved and i'm super stoked to take you on the journey with me I've, it's been really awesome to learn and grow with you and with that i wanted to talk about this topic of motivation and more specifically how to get motivated to work out right so I want to start with a question and I will post this separately as a poll if you're more of a click a button kind of person. What motivates you? What gets you motivated to move your body? What gets you motivated to pursue your healthy lifestyle, whether that be healthy mentally, emotionally, healthy physically, healthy in terms of how you nourish yourself, whatever that term healthy means for you and how you apply it to your life. What gets you motivated to do those things? I would love to know that answer. I love talking about motivation and behavior with all of you, with you specifically. So motivation itself is a reason for doing something. When you boil it down, motivation is an incentive or a reason for doing something. And we have both internal and external motivating factors. The ones that I hear a lot, an internal motivation could be desire to feel better, desire to pursue more, desire to make your situation better. And an external motivation factor that I hear a lot is truthfully like an event. <laughs> a lot of clients, a lot of you have told me that you are specifically motivated to get moving when there's an event that you are preparing for. And another external motivating factor that I hear you talk about a lot is this expectation, expectation almost from people in your circle or outside that you need to do better or you need to be better. Sometimes it comes from a, a physician, sometimes it comes from a friend or a family member, but there are all kinds of external motivating factors just like that. But those are the ones that I hear from you most frequently. So I'm curious what your top motivators are. And I think a lot of motivation comes from this personal satisfaction, right? We want to do better, be better. And a lot of times I think you'll come to working out or healthy eating in an attempt to be a better version of yourself or to just feel better in general. So there's all of those reasons for or how we get motivated. But what if I told you that motivation is something you can learn? Motivation is something you can create. Motivation is something that you have control over. You can, you can. So I have a couple of tips to get motivated specific to working out. So I wanted to take it really specific to just working out, but you could probably apply these things to other aspects of, of healthy living, whether it be mental, physical, social, emotional, whatever it is. But these are in my mind specific to motivation for working out slash moving your body, <laughs> moving your body, getting moving. I know when spring strikes, although interestingly, I was looking back through specifically because I had to do my taxes for fitness and February, February is probably our top month in terms of number of people coming to classes and just overall, like overall engagement. February. So February, 
you're getting motivated. What's the factor in February? Let me know. I am just curious to find out. I would think it'd be January, but February has historically been a top month for engagement. So there we go. All right. So these are my top tips for teaching yourself or tools to use to get yourself motivated to work out. Number one is writing it down. There's nothing like a visual of a list, <laughs> seeing it on paper, taking pen to paper. Maybe you put it in your cute little planner. Maybe you write it on a board. Hey, maybe you put it on a sticky note and put it on your mirror in your bathroom or in your car, somewhere that you know you're going to see it and remind yourself, okay, this is important. The other write it down piece is somewhere that others can see it. So I don't know if you in your job or work have a shared calendar, but that can be super motivating as well. If you put it on your calendar that you are going to go for a walk from three to four and 10 other people can see it, someone's probably going to ask you if you did it <laughs> or it'll come up in conversation later. So sometimes that external factor of somebody knows I'm going to do this, I register for a class or I write it in a shared space or calendar, that's going to be a helpful, motivating you know, thing to get you to actually do the workout that you wanted to do. The number two tool or tip I have for increasing your motivation to work out is to make it social. I have taught all kinds of groups. I have taught individuals. I personal train. I group fitness. I always go back to group fitness. Group fitness is my jam. That is just where I live, what I love. And it's because after a long day, there's nothing like this shared energy, this shared group of moments that it just makes you feel good. And you can go from having this like sourpuss to like, all right, we did the thing. Everybody, we did the thing. And it's so great because there are so many different types of people in group fitness classes and people at all different levels and having different um, interests and expectations for themselves, but we can all come together for this thing. So there's nothing like attending a group fitness class or calling a buddy and making it making it a social thing. And you can kind of feed off of each other's energy and help each other get motivated. So there's nothing like having a buddy. So number one, write it down. Number two, make it social. Another way to make it social, if you just, for whatever reason, just don't like people. <laughs> I mean, I have seasons like that too. I feel you. Or if you just don't have anybody that has a similar schedule to you, make it social by posting it somewhere. I feel like Instagram is literally sweaty selfie capital and you should not be ashamed to post it. And honestly, you have no idea who you're inspiring when you do that. Even if you feel like you have no followers, people be watching, people be lurking and watching. So maybe your make it social is posting it somewhere and doing a little like, you know, hashtag check mark did it kind of challenge. Um, maybe it's grabbing a buddy, maybe it's going to a group class. So any of those ways to kind of make it social. Um, number three, change what you call it. Instead of thinking about going to the gym, working out, think of it as this blanket idea of being active. So maybe you're in a really busy season and you just don't see the opportunity to make time to add a group fitness class to your schedule right now, or to have a personal trainer or to go for an hour long walk. I get it. I'm doing a 30 day challenge and it takes me about 50 minutes to walk a 5k. And it's been a freaking challenge to do it every single day to the point where I'm like, it's not going to happen today, but I have to do it. I have, I'm super competitive when it comes to challenging myself and I have to do it. That motivates me. <laughs> challenging myself motivates me. But maybe right now in this particular season, you just don't have that gap of time or you can't figure out quite how to make it work. Instead of thinking about a dedicated workout, add little pieces to your day. Park the farthest away. The extra two or three minutes is not going to affect your day. It's going to be better. Set a timer and get up and walk a circle around your office a couple of times a day. Think of it as overall being active throughout your day. And the more you move, 
the easier it gets to keep moving. I promise. I promise. And I feel like that's the secret that more people need to know. The more you move, the more it gets easier to move. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. So write it down. Make it social. Think of it as being active. And even if it is that you are, you, you know you have to go to the gym or you want to go to the gym and lift weights because you like the way it makes you feel, but you're like, uh, I just don't want to go. Go park the farthest away, that last spot, way in the corner at the gym and walk your butt to the front door. By the time you get to that front door, you're going to be a little more psyched up to get there and to do the thing. Okay. So write it down, make it social. Think of it as being active, not I have to work out. It's a lifestyle thing. It's an everyday kind of thing. My last one is create a reward. I always go back to this idea of incentivizing your actions and it works and it doesn't have to be food related. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could just be, okay, if we move our bodies for 30 minutes today, we can read an extra four chapters in the book. Or if I complete four workouts this week, I can finally go get that sports bra I've been eyeing or those sneakers I've been eyeing, or I could just do a little window shopping if it's not quite in the budget right now. Give yourself a little bit of a treat or a reward. And I, I like to do like weekly rewards because if you start doing it every day that, believe me, I believe in treating myself, but if you do it every day, it sort of loses its edge. So if you kind of have like a weekly ritual of a reward you can give yourself, that makes, it really does make a big world of difference. So write it down, add a social element to it. Think of it as being active and create a reward for your movement. So that is a handful of, those are a handful of ways that you can train yourself to motivate yourself to work out. And if those things still aren't happening, maybe we should talk about the kind of workouts you're doing because maybe you're just not finding a good spice of, or flavor of a way to move your body. And actually come to think of it, we already had that conversation, but it's one that I wanna keep adding on to. So kind of flip back a, a week or a couple of weeks and I have a whole conversation, a whole chat about finding a good workout for you. So those are all conversations I love to have. So let me know what keeps you motivated, what gets you motivated, or where you're stuck. Because the chances are, especially in our group here, if you're stuck, someone else is too. And we can learn and grow from each other. On that note, go get after it. Go get yourself trained to be motivated to work out. I believe in you. And let's keep this conversation going. Bye.